Now, then another one that caught my attention here, Google's Project Starline. Now, this is more of a moonshot type scenario, and there were a couple of these, but this one caught my attention because, you know, I always complain about video conferencing. I'm always telling you, man, you got this low latency gamers have all these people connected and they're and you're talking precision gunshots across God knows where and they don't miss a frame. Yeah. And then I hop on the video conferencing apps like what? 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 You say that again? Are you beatboxing right now? That's what it's. <laughs> that's what happens sometimes, and you're like, yeah. "Wait, man, my bandwidth is sick. I upload a video in two seconds. I stream a video in two seconds. I online game. I got. Uh, I got the ping. I'm. I got the ping I need. Mm -hmm. What's the matter with this? And for whatever reason, it's just been. It, I guess I don't know what the complexities are and the challenges for a company like Zoom or Skype or whatever. Whatever it is we're ha we having to be talking about, but it would just be so nice to have a more fluid organic like even for a show like this if i could bring in a guest and have a, a truly lifelike experience of interacting with that person mm -hmm. you might call that a game changer right there i would say so but it hasn't it doesn't exist as of now i'm not happy with any of it well at least you get to see a 3d model well and here's the thing it requires a special display for the time being but anyway this project starline is more of a concept for the time being, Google did say, we'll have more to say on it later in the year, but it's super vague about it as, as is usual. But this will be, it will create a 3D model of an individual, right? But it will be the individual as opposed to something CG where it feels very strange. Mm. And then it will use a specialized, and it has, it'll be very high resolution as well. And it will create this 3D version of the individual. Now, the display that it will be viewed through is a light field display, which is able to produce different visual information depending on the angle you are viewing the display from. Mm. So if you move from side to side, all of a sudden you're, you're going to, I'm going to, if I go, I see the side of Willie do, if I go over there, I go this way, I see the other side, you see? Mm. Very, you're very realistic right now. Y yeah. As I should be. Because you're u utilizing the light field technology at the moment. Mm -hmm. No, he's actually here, ladies and gentlemen. But who knows? Maybe he wants to be, uh, maybe he maybe he needs to find himself on, back in Iceland. You were just talking. You're going back to Iceland. I don't know when you're going to go, but maybe you're going to come into the show from Iceland on a light field display with the 3D model. Yeah, sure. And set it a fireplace. You got the, what do you got? Like the hot springs or maybe you got the... La, the uh, molten rock that has hardened. It's exploding behind me. Well, that could be, that would be cool as well. Yeah. Uh, but mean, he, the, yeah, this is cool technology, I would say. Yeah, and it's not unprecedented. There's been that kind of like hologram tech that we saw. Like uh, P. Diddy was couldn't be at his son's birthday party. And then he had this, and it's very boutique at the moment. Sure, it costs yeah. a ton of money. And it's not easy to roll it out for the masses because if you think about it well if you have a high quality image being streamed and it's a 3d model of such a thing and then you start questioning bandwidth don't you you can't yes. help it you start saying oh well this bandwidth thing uh -huh. so it's going to be a unique it's going to be a difficult challenge but mm -hmm. google's at least playing around with it attempting to improve it and if you go watch the video you're going to see like damn that's a pretty wild to see how realistic it actually looks now, uh -huh. it's hard for them to even show it on camera but these people are just so organic the conversation they're having having here and it's it's increasingly important because you had the whole we just spent it feel like we've been in this thing for a decade where you're not seeing people uh -huh. whatever this thing is shelter in place or whatever i mean i know we're on the tail end of it but things like that happen in technology companies like them they sit there and they say okay what made that especially hard? Well, how about not having a reliable way? Like my kids had to go into Zoom with the school stuff and they're, they're, you know, they're dying half the time. It can be uh -huh. rough because it's just lacking a little bit of electricity. Yeah, there's not enough texture. Yeah, just a little it's bit a of texture. human nuance is not in there. It's a little bit flat, isn't it? A little bit flattened right out. So I can't wait for that real... 
And, and and you know what I'll deal with right now? Don't even give me the 3D. Just give me super low latency. Yeah. Because you even see between you and I, it's like there's a second you got to jump. You go I, wherever it is. You go now. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah jokes are very hard. On that Zoom. <laughs> tiny bit of latency. It's like we need, a, we need to make jokes. Communication and conversation and latency takes away precision in the same way that would happen within a video game sure yeah you're just blunted you're you're, you're walking around if, if you're glitching and lagging forget about making a precision play well you better forget about having that precision convo you better forget about having that flow to it that high level version of it yeah no lag plus this let's that's go. the future let's go let's do it